I thought we were gonna get to the arc of saving the blue girl's family, but then we just did a detour and did like a racing arc, which is actually really fun. And Jilk, the purple head guy, I was like, I don't really hate the husbandos as much. I think it's just all Marie, cause she's just evil, right? And Jilk is pretty much getting used by it. They are annoying, they are stupid. And, and a part of me is like, we should get with the mom so we can be Julius's daddy. Like, what are you gonna do about it if I actually become your daddy? Which I hope that's the path we're gonna go on. We solved the Angie and Olivia drama stuff and now we're back to the blue girl. What does she want? Let's figure out today's reaction. <laughs> Wait, did we not solve this? I thought and Oh, my bad. I thought we solved this. What does she want? I don't think we can trust her, right? Based on her... The way that she's looking at us. Oh my gosh, she's involved. Are you... Okay. Alright, we're fucked. We're fucked. She is so annoying, dude. And she beat her up last episode, too. We need to punch her out again. We need to punch her out again, dude. So Carla's also getting threatened. Interesting. But if you are... Oh my god, this bitch, dude. So I guess this arc is gonna just like solve the problem between Angie and Livia, right? Nobles don't have friends, Angelica knows that better than anyone. So she's gonna be held captivate, like a hostage. Angie comes in, slaps that bitch again, she gets another broken nose. Then Angie and Livia, you reroute. Boo. She sucks, dude. She's so annoying. Damn. I'm not a pet, I'm a human. Maybe. <laughs> Please hit her with the shovel. Yes. Wait, how come she doesn't like put this same concept into Marie? Because like Marie is also just like a normal peasant, right? And she's surrounded by a bunch of husbands. I don't know. I feel like. You can apply the same concept to Marie, right? Isn't Marie like a commoner? It's just because, you know, yeah, Angie and her has drama that Livia's getting targeted. <laughs> he must be going after commoners because none of the girls like him. That's the interesting thing. Leon doesn't even care about girls so far. I feel like he has no romantic- Well, there has been some scenes where Libya was like smiling and Leon was like, whoa, she's actually cute. But so far, I've never felt this like simp behavior from Leon to the other girls. This is true. I can't wait for us to get revenge on her again, dude. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, man? She sucks. What? Sky Pirates? Sky Pirates? The Shovel Knight's hired to defeat Sky Pirates? Okay. Okay, they have an OP item. What is it? What? Wait. Livia needs three items to eventually awaken her powers? Wait, what? Livia... Okay, wait, 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 she can become super strong? As the saint? Where the fuck did this come from? Okay, so get three items. Maybe the Sky Pirates has one of them. Interesting. Bracelets. Necklace. Yeah, we need to get the necklace. And then the holy staff. Interesting. Okay. What if Marie got those items instead? Because she's pretty much like replaced Livia. But they asked us instead of the husbandos. This is influenced by her. She is scum. She's suddenly turned into the biggest antagonist here. She's worse than Marie now. So she... <laughs> she fucking let the Sky Pirates go crazy on Carla's place and... Car okay, so this is all just a big set of buyers. Fuck her, dude. Fabricated. 
She's evil. Yeah, she just hates Angie and Livia. Yo, Shovel Knight. Hit her in the face with the shovel. She probably lost money last racing game too, huh? But... <laughs> they kind of are fucking useless, huh? They are fucking absolutely useless. I, I want to go to war route. I do. <laughs> the five idiots. Wait, the idiot trio. So it's going to be the idiot... Uh, what's it? The idiot penta? What's the term for five people for trio? Realize what? Oh, so we need to let Livia handle this by herself because we're doing too much. Hmm. Would be cool to see Livia just like pop off by herself. Partner? Do we have a new ship? That's partner? Oh my god. Yo. Every, every machine that we get to use is so thick. It's just so fucking rotund and thick. Even the Shovel Knight armor, right? That shit was fucking wide, boy. This thing is fucking thick. I'm like, the Sky Pirates are probably so tiny compared to the ship, huh? There's Livia and Carla. Livia does not look very good, huh? This sucks, dude. This sucks. Wait. The idiots? Oh no. Uh, that's my reaction, dude. Ew. They gotta come with us? Man. Man. I mean, maybe they can kind of help us out. Ex-fiance. There's so many ex-fiances, dude. Uh. Yeah, is that a super OP weapon? Is that a cool spear? Is that Brooks doesn't even have an armor. <laughs> That's what I do to them. I call them green hair guy, red hair guy. Julius is the only one. I call him Prince, but like, damn. Call back home. They're even like infighting amongst themselves. Hmm. I hope they blow up in each other's faces. Livia looks so sad, man. CGI castle. Angie. <gasps> oh, and she got her some presents, some gifts. Oh no, they're fucking graffitiing our place. What does that say? I can't read that. Probably some evil shit. Oh my god, it's her again. Please, punch her out again. They suck. I hate them. By the time she heals her nose and gets the band-aid off, I hope Angie fucking breaks her nose again. Die. Wait. So they're gonna, like, her plan is to, like, get Livia killed during the Sky Pirate adventure? Interesting. Does she? So Carla's plan? So her plan, which is going to be told to Carla, is to get Livia somehow killed during this? That's not going to happen, obviously, but I wonder if the husbandos are also in on this. Hmm. Or maybe she's just saying this to piss Angie off? Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Damn. Damn, Angie. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, she goes full on yandere mode for Olivia. I will end you. That's so. No, we needed to fucking get more though. I wanted to fucking punch her face again, but goddamn. You know, I love it when Angie's like that. She's great. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You started this shit. Okay, Angie's getting involved. Olivia. Oh, mother. Hello, mother. Julius is not allowed to go. 
imagine your Julius and as soon as you mention Leon, one of your fucking like arc nemesis, your mom starts getting so down bad like this, bro. Again, the best revenge we can get on Julius is to literally become his daddy. <laughs> What does the king think about this, right? What does her husband think about this? But then again, this is like a matriarchy, right? I'm sure, like, she could have multiple husbands, right? Maybe? Because he's better. He's better. <gasps> Damn, mom. Julius can't say shit against his own mom. What are these idiots doing? They're gonna lose it to card games too? Maybe. What are they, playing poker? He really loves gambling, huh? He does. Okay, so we're cheating, but it's fine, it's fine. Fuck those bandos. It's fine. It's not gambling if you're, lo if you're winning. A respectable contest. Sure, sure. She a bitch. Okay. More story about the ex-fiance. What? The Black Knight? Wait, wait, wait. The Black Knight. He's the strongest knight of the neighboring Fano's dukedom. Okay, oh, oh, wait, he's a thick-ass boy, too. Are we gonna get an actual opponent worthy of fighting? The Black Knight. Actually strong, okay? Okay.コーコクとの国境警備を任されている。オフリケの功績がある以上、彼女との婚約を断れなかったのさ。ま、かなり揉めたよ。カーラさんも婚約破棄の件を匂わせて空賊退治の協力を求めてきたんだ。Oh, I mean, yeah, they all do have ex-fiances because of Marie, but it's hilarious. I'm not going to sympathize with him. Fuck him. Welcoming party. Oh, time to fight. Time to fight. Let's go. Yeah, get to it. Go work. Come on. Get out there. Come on, faster, let's go! Dude, they are not prepared at all. Does the shovel not have to do everything? These guys are so useless. These guys are so useless. Oh, thick boy's coming out. Okay, sky pirates, they... I mean, yeah, what did I expect from Sky Pirates? They're gonna look like a fucking pirate, but they're on the sky with the fucking eye patch. Alright, let's look at this fight. Look at these NPC ass looking, you know, Gundam robot suits. Look at that thick ass boy, dude. Look how wide it is. Arrogance is so wide. Bring the shovel. Actually, new weapon, please. New weapon, please. He's so fast too, though. Done. We just tackled him and he's done. Like five seconds ago, he was like, huh, pretty outdated model. Just take him up. Get the fuck out of my face. Bro, we're not even using a weapon. We're just like tackling them, throwing people around. The armory hasn't even accessed yet. Y'all can't hit him. He's too fast. And these two idiots just watching it all happen. Do something. Hmm. I mean, this is better than being in denial, right? These two idiots actually acknowledge Leon's strength. And we're not even trying. This isn't a real battle. No. Missiles. Oh, wait. Aragon's got missiles? This shitty ass shields ain't gonna do shit. Nani! Look at this thick ass boy. No. No. No surrender. Take him out regardless. Or take the ship. Alright, that works. Now, does, is the bracelet here the most important weapon? The prince didn't even fucking fight, dude. He's been reduced to fucking tying their hands up, bro. These two idiots. At least the 
the purple guy is doing something? What's the red guy doing? He's just fucking watching in awe. <laughs> Bro is realizing. You know what? Shit. Maybe I'm not born for this. I had no idea what real battles were like. We're giving them a fucking wake up call. Maybe he'll retire. As much as I'm shitting on them though, they are becoming more like enlightened and like developed, huh? I mean, Julius is still kind of like cocky and just like still kind of delusional, but it is cool to see that, you know, last episode we had a green haired guy that we kind of just like helped out with. And in this one, the red hair and the purple guy, they're starting to like acknowledge more and more, which is kind of good. This is development, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you shoot him down? Really? Fuck you, Carla. Oh, how are we gonna punish her? Oh, this is gonna be good. Livia? Even now, she's trying to fucking shit on Livia. Surely, if we try to blame this on Livia, the girl that we know more, then Bart Fart is gonna forgive me. Like, ha, they're so dumb. They are so fucking dumb. I can't wait for Carla to get just embarrassed. Oh my god. All right, we've reached their house. Okay, we surrender. This is Carla's people, right? Oh, right, because ex fiance. They should know, you know, him. Does he actually. No, no, you totally forgot, right? Because this is like, oh, remember me? And you're like, oh, oh yeah, you are. Um, you don't actually say the name, but you're like, I, I remember you. I remember that one time. No, not really. No, I don't, I don't know who you are. Awkward. Livia looks so sad still. Uh oh, uh oh, the secret's out. Mm, here we go, here we go. Yeah. This is all on Carla. Yeah, the shovel knight. Forgive my insolence? Wait. What has he heard of Leon that he just immediately goes, M my Lord, forgive my insolence. Wait, is, Le is the Shovel Knight like um the rumors about him just that bad? He's terrified. He's terrified. <laughs> it's 100% your fault. Well, not just her fault. It's also the other girl's fault. But still, like, how are you? Ugh, this sucks because her design is kind of good. I like her the way that she looks. But Carla, it's time to get punished. That's right, Barto Farto ain't gonna side with you. <laughs> My daughter's confused. Fuck you, Carla. <laughs> yeah, pay money. Where the money at? Give me the fucking bracelet too. Damn, yo, he's pressing. <laughs> he is pressing. <laughs> Dumbass. No, I'm not gonna feel bad for you. You deserve worse. You deserve way worse, dude. Evil, conniving bitch, dude. Fake tears. Did we get paid? Okay, so she confessed. <laughs> I mean, they did order her to do it, but you're still involved. Right, the bracelet. Man, this whole episode, she's just been making that sad face. Oh. Yo, where's Angie at with the present? I mean, we're not back home yet, but. Oh. I mean, I mean Luxion's helping a lot, but true? Oh, what the fuck? What, 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 what? Why are you so kind to me? This is actually a good question. Because, you know, to us, we know that she's the main character, the protagonist of the show, and, you know, we're supposed to, you know, you know raise this ultimate character up, but 
She is asking a very good question, man. How, what, how can we answer this? I, I mean, we can't just be like, well, you know, you're like the main protagonist of this game, and I'm trying to make you into the same by collecting three different items. You know, we can't really tell her this, but what is Leon gonna say? Hmm. No, 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 no. They mentioned that, right? They mentioned that about Leon, but we wouldn't. Cap, she's very cute. Man, all those lies are going in her head. The delusions are becoming reality in her head. Yeah. We don't really have a reason other than that she's a protagonist, right? Like, how do we tell her this? She's an NPC to us. This is fucked. I mean, do we confess to her at this point? Do we say, I loved you always? I, no, that's a lie too. What, what the fuck do we say? Can she become aware? Do we, do we tell her? Uh, by the way, this is an Ultima game and you're the protagonist. We, we can't really do that, right? Can we? Ooh. You know... She's kind of right. She's actually kind of right. Yikes. Yikes. I, I have no answer for this. What do we even say? And that's the episode. That was some actually good question from Livia at the end because when we're watching this show, we're like, oh, Ultimate Game, you know, it's like, ah, oh, we're in Ultimate Game, Leon's doing his own thing, you know, it shouldn't matter. But like, Livia is like, yo, why do you actually care about me? And, and the royals keep telling her that you're nothing. You're just a pet. People are just keeping you around for your own body. So these lies are eventually getting into it. And it actually kind of makes sense if you really think about it, right? If you really think about it, she is right about this. So Leon's answer is A. Just fucking confront her. You are the protagonist of this ultimate game, and I'm collecting items for you to turn into a saint. That would be an insane reveal. I don't think we're gonna do that. Number two, maybe Leon like confesses and says, I've always loved you, but that's kind of always also a lie, right? We, that would be also a wrong choice. But then the third option is something that I have no idea. I don't know what Leon's gonna do. I'm not really sure how we're gonna reconcile this, but this is actually getting sad. I'm actually feeling kind of bad for Livia, man. It's all Marie's fault. It's because fucking Marie did this shit, man. And oh my god, I cannot wait for this girl here to get punished again. As soon as that nose heals, bro, I hope we fucking punch her out again. It's not enough, though. She needs to learn her lesson because she keeps coming back. So fucking annoying, but... I mean, if she's doing a great job of making us feel angry at her, then she's doing her job as the villain. It is what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.